Hey guys, welcome back to Puff It Louder. And welcome back to Steam Prison. Um, we're, I guess we're gonna go try on a wedding dress. Let's just go. Uh, I read this already. We can be proud of ourselves for catching someone like that. Let's make this country a better place together. Hey. Who's the sarcastic bitch? <laughs> this man. I told you before not to call me that. Ugh. <laughs> a man called Sekabolt Senkabolt Ark walked towards us with an easygoing air. He was a rank one officer as well as our colleague. Or as well and our colleague. He was a reasonably good officer, but his personality generated a lot of friction. I really hate this man. I couldn't just ignore him though. I swallowed down my ire and I spoke to him. Being passionate about one's work hardly seems bad. You were literally the same rank as me, Senka. Like, leave me alone. Uh, okay, shut the fuck up. What are you getting at? What the hell? What's wrong with you? I bit my lip so I wouldn't snap back at him. Ark snorted and he turned his attention towards Finn. What is your problem, dude? What the heck? I've done nothing to you! You dare not insult on not only me, but Finn as well? You'll pay for this. I almost stabbed him with the sword, is that what the sound was? Ooh, you're a bitch. <laughs> but- <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Shut the fuck- oh my god, I really hate that man. His sarcastic laughter rang behind us. What a jerk! We stayed side by side as we checked our orders for the next day, as if we were still on duty. Why did you stop me? I came to a halt as I asked the question, but Finn kept moving forward. His steps paused and he turned to look at me. I could see in his expression that he was waiting for me to clarify. I'm talking about earlier. Why did you stop me? Why didn't you find a way to retaliate? Finn gave a quiet murmur. I knew he understood what I meant. But even if he understood, he so showed no sign of being troubled by it. He was insulting you! Aren't you upset? <laughs> You're used to being insulted? Like, what? Used to them? Finn nodded, giving an uncomfortable grin. Then he took a step towards me. Oh, no. Finn. Alright, I take back all of the bad things I said about Finn. Finn is good in my book. Well, well. I can't be angry at you for wanting the best for me, can I? We've worked together for s such a long time. You probably know this, but... I can be a bit reckless sometimes. <laughs> Are you trying to say something? Uh, yeah. 
<laughs> wow. Yes, a little reckless. Not very reckless. Just a little. Probably. <clears throat> anyway, I do my best to work on it, but objective or objectivity doesn't always come naturally to me. I've been grateful that you've been there so many times. So don't think of yourself as useless. I wouldn't be here without you. I wouldn't have taken the promotion exam either. Finn, I'm glad you're my partner. Oh. I told you not to call me that, gosh. Finn was invaluable to me on so many occasions. If he hadn't been with me, who knows what I'd done? Perhaps Ark would be injured by now at my hand. I knew how lucky I was to have a partner like Finn. Well then, off to battle. Senjo? Yes, I need to try on that dress that we talked about. <laughs> yes, because we're going to put you in the wedding dress. <laughs> of course. It's essential that you're there with me. I can overcome any hardship with you. I'm just such a natural player. <laughs> uh, I think the tailor's over there. After me, Finn. Ditched. <laughs> Poor dude. This dress is so tight. The tailor said it was custom fitted, but I think he also said it would be uncomfortable at first. They'd taken my measurements a few months earlier. I didn't want to believe I'd gained weight in the interim. I don't like the dresses at home to begin with, and this is a whole nother level. I sighed and looked at myself in the mirror. I have no idea if this looks good or bad. Therefore, Finn, are you there? Hi, how did you Oh god! How does it look? Uh, <laughs> Did he just shut the freaking curtains? He was like, nope. <laughs> that looks terrible. Like, but that was a picture get, anyways. I wanted to know if you think it looks good. Your reaction made the answer quite obvious. That'll be enough. Thank you. You didn't know what to say because it looks so bad, right? <sighs> you don't have to be considerate. This picture again. <laughs> How is it? Finn. Uh, is that the truth? Of course it is. Um. Uh, um. Uh, is that the truth? He's mumbling. I didn't want to doubt him, but he seemed like the type to lie so as not to hurt someone's feelings. I suspected he wasn't telling the truth. Finn, is that the truth? Then why'd you shut the curtain? <laughs> wow, he is reaching. Finn mumbled an apology. It amused me to see his large frame fidget around uncomfortably. I laughed. <laughs> Where is, where is my changing room? What are these windows? I just realized this as I was staring. How often are you planning to apologize? Well, I suppose you must be telling the truth. Thank you, Fen. It got pretty dark. It sure was exhausting. Especially with my hair getting tangled up in the dress when I tried to take it off. Thanks for your help there, Finn. 
You did it for me. There's nothing to apologize for. Lords. <laughs> I told you that it's fine. You're honestly more dexterous than I thought. I couldn't do it alone, that's for sure. Not as carefully as you did. I probably would have just decided to heck with it and cut off my hair. Thank you, Finn. Finn smiled at me. The whole, whole ordeal was a chore, but at least it's over and done with. I happily chattered away. Sorry that you have to come so far in this direction to walk me home. I know you live the other way. My neighborhood looks very nice. I think I'd be fine. You don't have to worry about me. I can protect myself with my sword. Finn. Alright, but the same goes for me as well. We're equals. We protect each other. Don't hesitate to let me be there for you, too. Is it kind of messed up that I feel like he's gonna die or something? <laughs> That'd be so sad. I've got an idea. Would you like to come to my house for dinner? I want to pay you back for how much time you spent with me after work. Oh, I see. We're going to the depths tomorrow. I should make some pre preparations too. Tomorrow's probably going to be exhausting. Do you want to eat with me the next time we have a day off then? Oh, of course it isn't. I'll tell the servants to make a huge feast. <laughs> Yeah, me too. Sorry for taking up so much of your time. Take care on the way home. Goodbye! Finn made a little bow and began to walk away. Slowly, he faded into the darkness of the night. Well, time to go in. I'm home! Oh, beef! <laughs> Oh, yes. I gripped my sword hilt, my tone proud. I tried on the wedding dress. I expected them to be happy, but they didn't even bat an eyelash. I gave them a quizzical look. Um, is something wrong? Oh, <laughs> you're doubting me? Of course, huh? It's a little hurtful to be suspected of lying by your own parents. Damn, my grandma's skilled as fuck. Sure, that was much, or that much was the honest truth. I don't like dresses, but the fabric was pretty. I think so. No, I like it. Grandmother's cloth was superb. Let's not. <laughs> a date. There was no date before? Rip. Yes. I really did forget that. In fact, I'd forgotten that we'd ever talked about it. I'm not really enthusiastic on getting married. I was surprised at how much I didn't care. Uh, there's still more for me to do? <laughs> oh my god. I feel dizzy. Um, can I have something to eat? I'm very hungry. Uh, uh, I know. Marriage is a lot worse than I expected. Rip. I... 
I'm so tired. I placed my sword next to the wall and collapsed onto bed. I knew I had to change my clothes, but my body demanded rest. Today was really exhausting. My parents continued to berate me about my wedding and my future husband throughout dinner. They tried to tell me that descendants are the be-all and all. The government had decided my marriage. It was nothing of special significance to me. My parents are very happy together, but I... How was I going to feel? Would Lord Fitzgerald and I ever feel comfortable together as my parents did? Or feel as comfortable? I can't really picture that. Catching that thief already felt like an event of the distant past. That just proved how worn out I felt. I want to sleep, but I have to change. I had to prepare for the next day as well. Should I tell my parents that I'm going into the depths? My orders don't say that I'm not allowed to tell my family. It didn't seem like the right time. They were unlikely to oppose it outright, since it was part of the promotion process, but I knew they'd make a fuss about it. The depths truly were an unknown, terrifying world to us. I won't tell them. No need to cause pointless worry. It's probably better to tell them after the fact. After reaching my decision, I crawled under the sheets. Immediately, I began to melt into the soft mattress, my whole body stretching out. I also didn't pack? Um, okay. Good night, I murmured, and I closed my eyes. Oh, you said good night to myself? <laughs> One day before the case. I am pretty. Like, it, I just... Oh, God. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Am I packing in the morning? Oh. Okay, good morning. Yeah. Oh, don't worry about it. I didn't get enough sleep. The wedding nonsense was more exhausting to me. I'd been hoping that after the wedding dress I'd be able to have some peace again, but they were on my case again this morning. The prospect of dealing with wedding plans every day was depressing, but I couldn't let that affect my work. I had to compartmentalize. Today's a big day. Well, I'll have to be alert. I gave my cheeks a light slap to wake myself up. Alright, let's do this, Finn. Off we go. I'm surprised we were ordered to the barracks. How are they going to send us to the depths? Oh, they just send us underground? <laughs> Is it actually underground? How do you know that? Did it? I retrieved my envelope and skimmed the contents of the permit. You're right. Don't laugh. <laughs> Whoops. This was such an important assignment. To miss details like that was incredibly unprofessional. I put the envelope away as I silently gave myself a harsh scolding. Don't worry. I'll be more careful, careful from now on. I don't want to cause problems in foreign territory. But just in case... If you see me nodding off, give me a good shake to wake me up, okay? Don't ask me that. Finn put his hand to his mouth nervously. I don't really want to talk about it, but... He came with me yesterday. He's earned the right to hear what happened next. Yeah, they're extremely happy and they said that they would set the wedding date now. No, it added extra weight onto them. My father told me that the real work begins now, and a lot of my time will have to go into preparing for the wedding. Look. You'll eventually have to suffer the same fate. You bet you will. And we'll both make it through. Somehow. Sir Kodoa, why are you here? 
Are you accompanying us? Yeah. You are coming with us? Lord. We're not afraid, right, Fen? <laughs> Fen nodded almost imperceptibly. Oh. Fen. Sir Kodoa watched our exchange and laughed. Then he pointed down the hallway. Station? The same word had appeared on the permit. I'd never seen it used in that sort of context before. Sir Kodoa, what is meant by station? Is it a name? I don't know what a station is. Uh, vehicles? So <laughs> We can never come back. <laughs> Sir Kodoa pushed Finn encouragingly down the empty hallway. <laughs> okay, let's go. Off to the depths. And actually, we've hit our time, so we can't even go to the depths of this episode. But in the next episode, we will be going to the depths. And, like, honestly, I feel like it's just going to be like, oh, take a bus, and then you take the bus, and then you arrive at this shady-looking slums area. Like, that's what I'm assuming. But maybe it's a basement. I have no idea. Let's see it next time.